Hello, Fast and Furious fans. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a special treat for you, as we veer off the beaten track and delve into the realm of what if. That's right, we're taking a major character from our beloved franchise and exploring an alternate timeline for his story. The character in focus? None other than Brian O'Connor, the undercover cop turned street racer who won our hearts with his loyalty, integrity, and love for adrenaline pumping speed. Portrayed brilliantly by the late Paul Walker, Brian's journey from law enforcement to being a part of Dominic Toretto's crew has been a central thread of the Fast and Furious saga. But what if, instead of descending into the world of illegal street racing and high-stakes heists, Brian O'Connor had stayed true to his badge? What if he chose to remain within the confines of law enforcement, upholding justice in his way? How different would the Fast and Furious universe look? We're going to dig into these questions and more in this video. So strap in, rev up your engines, and get ready for a thrilling exploration of a Fast and Furious that might have been. Ready? Let's hit the road! Overview of Brian O'Connor's character arc Brian O'Connor Introduced to us as an undercover cop in the original Fast and Furious, Brian was tasked with infiltrating the street racing scene to uncover a ring of high-speed truck hijackers. We see him struggle with the duality of his position, being torn between his duty as a law enforcement officer and the bonds he forms with Dom Toretto's crew, particularly his blossoming romance with Mia. As the franchise evolved, so did Brian. In Too Fast Too Furious, we see him on the run, completely cut off from his law enforcement roots, fully embracing the world of street racing. By Fast and Furious, the fourth film, Brian is back with the FBI, trying to navigate a world where he is a part of two families, the Bureau and the crew. This tension comes to a head in Fast Five, where Brian fully turns his back on law enforcement, culminating in one of the franchise's most high-octane heists. From this point on, Brian is a bona fide member of the crew, leaving behind his badge and the world of cops and robbers. This journey, while exciting, has led us to wonder, what if Brian O'Connor had stayed a cop? How would it have shaped him as a character and, more importantly, how would it have influenced the trajectory of the Fast and Furious franchise? Impact on the Crew Let's start by considering the impact on the crew if Brian had remained a cop. The relationships he cultivated, particularly with Dom and Mia, were fundamental to the franchise's narrative. If he had stayed in law enforcement, these relationships would undoubtedly have been strained, if not severed. Dom and Brian's bond is built on mutual respect and a shared passion for cars and freedom. However, if Brian had chosen his badge over the crew, this bond would likely have fractured. He'd have become a symbol of the law that Dom, inherently anti-establishment, often found himself against. Mia's relationship with Brian would also have been fraught with conflict. Could their romance have survived Brian's commitment to law enforcement? Would Mia have been willing to be with Brian if he were still an officer of the law, potentially posing a risk to her brother and their friends? Beyond the impact on these core relationships, Brian's continued role as a cop would have affected the crew's dynamic. His insider knowledge of law enforcement operations did give them an edge in their heists. Without Brian on their side, the crew would have been short of this strategic advantage. Next, let's take a look at how this major change could have affected the broader narrative arcs of the Fast and Furious franchise. Impact on the franchise's plot So, let's now dive into how our beloved Fast and Furious franchise could have taken a drastically different turn if Brian had remained a cop. It's an intriguing thought experiment to consider how the storylines might have evolved, or perhaps, not evolved, in this scenario. Brian's decision to stay a cop would likely have meant that the Toretto crew's heists and missions would have been much different, with more focused efforts to evade law enforcement. There would have been more cat-and-mouse style chase sequences, akin to the first film, which could have limited the larger-than-life heists we've seen in the later films. Consider the Fast Five, for instance. Would Brian have participated in the vault heist in Rio if he was still upholding the law? 
Unlikely. And if he didn't, that monumental scene, one of the franchise's most iconic moments, might not have occurred at all. Moreover, the narrative would have to find different ways to involve Brian in the action. Maybe he would have found himself torn between duty and friendship more often, leading to high-stakes decisions and dramatic moments. This significant change could have led to a much more grounded and perhaps more character-driven narrative, as opposed to the high-octane action spectacle the franchise morphed into. Role in Law Enforcement Having explored the possible impacts on the crew and the overall narrative, let's now ponder Brian's journey. If Brian O'Connor had chosen to remain a police officer, what kind of cop would he have been? Brian's character was always marked by a strong sense of justice, loyalty, and an inclination to protect those he cared about. As a cop, we could imagine that these attributes would become his guiding principles. He would probably have been the kind of cop who goes by the book but also knows when to bend the rules for the greater good. Considering his deep connection with the street racing scene and the Toretto family, he might have served as a bridge between law enforcement agencies and the street racing world. A peacemaker of sorts, trying to minimize harm while ensuring justice is served. However, this dual role could have put him in numerous tricky and conflicting situations, leading to a complex narrative of divided loyalties and dramatic personal dilemmas. It would have been interesting to see how Brian managed to navigate this tightrope, caught between his duty as a cop and his allegiance to the family he'd come to love. The Fate of the Family Within the Fast and Furious franchise, one theme has remained constant, the importance of family. Dominic Toretto's crew isn't just a group of criminals, racers, and hackers, they're a family. But how would this family dynamic have evolved if Brian had stayed a cop? Brian's decision to turn his back on law enforcement and join Dom's crew was pivotal in solidifying this notion of family. It showed his loyalty to his friends, showing that he was ready to sacrifice his career to protect them. However, if Brian had stayed a cop, this sense of unity and camaraderie could have been severely tested. Would the crew have trusted Brian the same way, knowing he still wore a badge? Could he have truly been considered part of the family while upholding the very law they often found themselves on the wrong side of? These are difficult questions, ones that would have likely led to emotional conflicts and tough decisions within the group. And then, there's Brian and Mia's relationship, a cornerstone of the family. Would Mia have been as quick to start a family with Brian, knowing he was still part of the force? Their story could have taken a different, possibly more complicated path. Undeniably, Brian staying a cop would have cast long shadows on the fate of the Fast family, potentially reshaping it in significant ways, comparison with the real storyline. After speculating about this alternate timeline where Brian remains a cop, it's time to come back to reality and consider how the actual storyline of the Fast and Furious franchise has unfolded. What's undeniable is that Brian's shift from law enforcement to becoming a full-fledged member of Dom's crew has played a critical role in the evolution of the franchise. The high-stakes missions, the breathtaking heists, and the exploration of complex themes like loyalty and family, all of these central elements of the franchise owe a lot to Brian's transformation. Despite the inevitable challenges and sacrifices, Brian's decision to align with the crew allowed for the exploration of powerful themes of loyalty, family, and freedom. It gave us narratives that were both emotionally charged and action-packed. It took the franchise from a story about illegal street racing to a global saga of high-stakes crime and camaraderie. Would this growth have been possible if Brian had stayed a cop? Perhaps, but it would likely have been a very different journey. Maybe more grounded, possibly more focused on character dynamics, but potentially lacking in the larger-than-life action that has come to define the Fast and Furious franchise. Conclusion Cut to clips from the Fast and Furious franchise emphasizing the themes of family and loyalty. Phew, what a ride!
As we put our speculation to rest and bring this video to a close, it's clear that imagining a fast and furious universe where Brian O'Connor stayed a cop has given us a unique lens through which to view this beloved franchise. Would the series have remained as exciting, heart-pounding, and compelling? Perhaps in different ways. We might have seen more tense chase scenes, complex character dynamics, and moral dilemmas, but possibly fewer high-octane, physics-defying stunts and heists. Regardless, one thing is certain, Brian O'Connor has left an indelible mark on the Fast and Furious franchise, whether as a cop, a criminal, a friend, a lover, or a father. His journey is woven into the fabric of this series, and it's been a pleasure to explore what could have been a dramatically different path for his character. But now, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Call to Action Now that we've fueled your imagination with this what-if scenario, it's time for us to hit the brakes on this video. But don't worry, we've got plenty more fast and furious content in the pipeline. If you enjoyed this video and would like to stay updated on all things fast and furious, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And if you found this alternate timeline intriguing, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It helps us a lot. Also, we'd love it if you could share this video with your fellow Fast and Furious fans. Who knows, you might just spark an exciting debate about Brian's character and the possible paths he could have taken. Thanks for joining us on this high-speed speculation ride. And as always, keep living life a quarter mile at a time. Let us know in the comments below, what do you think would have happened if Brian O'Connor had stayed a cop? Do you think it would have made the Fast and Furious series better, worse, or just different? We can't wait to read your theories and opinions.